Greetings, fellow Cybertronians, is I, Iron Rod Prime, and this is part two of my Power Rangers RPM mini Megazord review thing. Last time I reviewed this guy, which is, of course, a mini version of the, uh, Oh man, I can't I can't remember this dude's name. You know what? Just for the sake of review, I'm gonna call this the RPM Megazord, because I cannot remember his name. Uh it's like the overhaul no, not the overhaul. It's like a over over something. It's like overdrive, overhaul, uh max The Drive Max Megazord. No, not the Drive Max. That doesn't sound right. This isn't. This isn't, uh. You know, that overdrive crap tastical. Anyway. And this, of course, is the Valve Max Megazord. The mini version of the Valve Max. And as I mentioned in my previous review, these two can combine. However, I ran out of time last time, so I wasn't able to show you that. Today, I'm going to show you how you do this. So, uh, let's see. We take, let's get him out of the way first. Oh, and did I mention we had onlookers? Big Daddy RPM Zord. And Big Daddy Valve Max Zord. Say hi, boys. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. Come on, focus, will you? Okay, so to get him ready, what you do first, take his little knife. It's supposed to be a sword, but I swear to God, it looks like a knife. I mean, look at that thing. It looks like a freaking knife. Anywho, then you rotate these upside down. <laughs> then you just bring the arms back down like so. Rotate and bring the arms down. And then just flip the head in. And that's pretty much all you need to do for that. Let's take him out of the equation. Come on, damn it. Focus. My camera's being a bitch. And you basically just disassemble this guy. Hold on. Uh, if you saw my review on this guy, you know how to put him together, and then you know how to take him apart. Just reverse it. Because I'm it's difficult for me to show this on screen. Hold on. I'll be right back. Take that out. Take that out. Quick and for more, so help me, so help me, so help me. It's a musical. Right. Boom, 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 boom. And stop. Okay. So now that that's settled, we got all of these pieces to do. Now, if you have the larger version of the two, if you have the larger version of the Megazord, you know what's coming next. So, no surprises there. Bring this dude back in and take one of these. This will be one of the feet. 
you just bring it in here and that slides right on like that <sighs> come over here take the other one that one slides a little black peg right there and there's a little I don't know if you can see that or if I can show this yeah, you can see it. It's there's a little slot right in there. You slide that peg right in there. It gives them a bit more height. And then you just put the corresponding animals on the corresponding body. Burka goes on the all right, not Burger. This is the shark spinner. This is RPM, not over, not uh, engine. Oh, and then stick that on there like that. And you take the Wolf Cruiser and stick it on there. That's. Did I mention this thing doesn't like to hold together? Oh. Oops, I forgot one last thing. On the bottom of the crocodile foot, you gotta come in here and that just fell. And that goes right on top of that the RPM is over and here you have the RPM or let's see this is the G no it's not the G anything it's uh the Zenith Megazord there we go uh, Now, oddly enough, even though this is a smaller version of the Megazord, and usually the smaller versions have more articulation, oddly enough, this thing has the same amount of articulation as the larger version. Meaning, arms can rotate full 360 at the shoulder, they can rotate at the connect, at the, uh, uh, wait, yeah, they can rotate here. And legs are stationary except that. And what has changed, however, is that now his head can move. Like that. Left and right in full 360, and yada, 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 yada. Now, let's see. Ugh. Hold on. I'm missing. No, wait, no, I'm not. Another thing that's cool is that Gunford here has a little hole at the end of his barrel. And you can see, and you remember that little knife? The uh, Megazord sword? Well, the handle of that sword is just small enough that you can stick it up Gunford's nose and he now has and now Gunford can wield the swords I will slay you. Ha! You're dead. So, yeah. So, that is how you do this thing, my digger. Wait, that sounded so wrong. 
This is the Mini Valve Max Megazord. I hope you guys liked this thing. I do. I think it's neat. I like it. It's neat. It, it only cost me, what, like five bucks a piece? Yeah. I bought uh, the RPM Megazord, which I still can't remember its name. I'm sure it'll come to me here eventually. Here eventually. And I bought the uh, the Valve Max Megazord and the other one, which I can't remember its name. And then of course I got the bonus Zords as well. So and you'll see those in a later review. But anyway, they were all about five bucks a piece. So you know, it's not not that not that expensive. You can find them. Uh, I suggest picking, picking them up. I mean, it's it's kind of neat to have like a mini Megazord running around so you can have, like, put it in your pocket and take it to work with you at school. Just don't get caught. You know, just something to fiddle with here between classes or between uh, meetings or whatnot. Or even you're in the meeting. God, I don't ever pay attention. So, yeah, that's, I think I've rambled, rambled on long enough. So, that was the Mini Power Rangers RPG and Mini Valve Megazord. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, rate, comment, subscribe, please. And, I will be seeing you guys later. Take care.